It's a Colorado story that made headlines all over the world and frankly raised a lot of eyebrows. A pilot arrested for standing naked near his window inside the Weston Hotel at DIA. Now the trial was set to start later this month. Now the case has been dropped. Our Kelly Worthman talked to that pilot today. Kelly has to be relieved with the judge's decision. Jim, he told me he's ecstatic, but still frustrated. Not only was he suspended from his job, he missed out on an opportunity to become the head of a national pilots union. Now he's considering suing the city for more than a million bucks. It's the morning that abruptly changed Andrew Collins' life. A morning the United Airlines pilot wishes he could forget. I had no idea, Kelly, what had happened to me until I got down to the Denver police intake. On September 20th, Captain Collins woke up at the Weston Hotel at DIA and opened the curtains to enjoy the view. I remembered it was a beautiful day. Yet some passengers outside in the main terminal got a view they didn't expect. Uh, I didn't even think twice about it. I was about to get in the shower. Captain Collins was naked, walking around his room while on a business call. One witness told police the naked man was acting inappropriately. Did you have any idea, Andrew, that people People could see you when you were in your room? No, none, none. Andrew says in his 26 years as a pilot, he has stayed at more than 2,000 hotels. Most, he says, have tinted or mirrored windows, so he assumed the Weston did too. Now, that didn't mean I was standing there doing any lewd behavior. I just had an expectation of privacy. They made a mountain out of a mall helm. Andrew's attorney says Denver police went way too far when they arrested the captain for indecent exposure, including not getting a warrant to go into the hotel room. They could have knocked on the door, they could have called his room, but you can see from the body cams, they took it to an extreme level. With his case now dismissed, the captain is hopeful to return to a normal life and one day return to the skies. You know, Kelly, what I want the most is I want this to never happen to anybody again. Now, United Airlines is still conducting an internal investigation, so Andrew isn't sure when or if he'll be flying with the airline again. Reporting live at DIA, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado first. Thank you, Kelly.